Hello guys, my name is Mel and today I will show you a little bit of a tutorial about uh, tanking uh, as an assassin. Um, you have to pick darkness over deception and hatred to become a tank. And yeah, let's talk about um, proficiencies, uh, more like talents, I like to call them. So yeah, for skillful avoidance, um, as you can see, this reduce the cooldown of Jolt by 2 seconds, Unbreakable Wheel by 30 seconds, and Force Speed by 5 seconds. Overall, it's a great, great uh, skillful talent to pick, and just because of uh, Jolt, you always want to have interrupts on yourself. Um, unbreakable will as well. This also, um, or do I have it? Oh yeah, this one. This also will help you um, get off the CC of any kind, of right boss, even in PvP. Um, I don't know um, some kind of mechanics you can like avoid and try to help your team. That's really important. Um, another thing is uh, obfuscation, Jesus Christ, I don't really ha know how to um, read that. Um, it's increasing your movement speed by 15% and your effective stealth level by 5. Uh, movement speed overall on assassin is really good, uh, mostly because um, assassin depends on mobility, nothing else like mobility, because like for example juggernauts, uh, are like, um, I don't know, um, turtles or snails, pick whatever you like more. Um, and they are more difficult in case of mobility than um, assassins, for example. So, as a juggernaut, you will have to jump a lot and make sure you're not wasting your jump on anything not necessary. But when you play assassin, you can just use your. Um, your force speed and get everywhere you want to so it's like it has 50 seconds cooldown so that's really nothing um, you can always travel like every 50 seconds you can get from one point to the end of the area in no time which is really really good that's the obvious con for a pro for a mm, for assassin um, okay, what's next? Ah, Lambast. Well, um, it will increase the damage dealt by luck rate by 25%. Luck rate is this one. Um, why do I pick this one? Mostly because Assassins depends on AoE threat. They're really, really good at AoE threat. Um, that's why it's so important to get this uh, skillful talent because it will help you handle every possible add you will have to. So um, if you are on of cooldowns on a Wither, Shock or I don't know, Discharge, you can also just lacquerate everything around and they will still aggro on you, which is really important for a tank, so you don't lose aggro at, uh, at any time. Um, what else, what else? Um, Okay, done with skillfuls. Let's go for masterful. This junction increase the duration for shroud by 20, uh, two seconds and force speed by 1.5 seconds. So force shroud, which is um, what is it? Uh, I never remember. Oh yeah, this one. Um, two seconds on even on um, even on this cooldown. Uh, will be really really important because five seconds you have um, it's like yeah it could it's okay but it could be more but still not really enough so this masterful talent will give you two seconds more and they will be like um, it will save your ass many many times so you know uh, if you have any CCs that are removable and um, your, um, for example, your healers are not capable of um, capable. That's the bad word. They are. They can just uh, cleanse you. You just use it and go away with no, no single uh, damage taken. Mm, mostly because uh, your chance to resist force and attack attacks by 
200%, which is really, really good. And also it does not break stuff, so you can like uh, precast it before the fight if you want. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, immersion. Force speed grants immersion, removing all movement effects and granting immunity to them for the duration. So, um, for example, you have a heavy CC raid boss. I mean raid boss, boss. Um, and the opener is mostly with the wither, but you know he will get you with the CC right away. You will start with um, force speed, get immunity to um, to all the CCs, and you are like you can continue with your rotation without any problems. That's why you pick this one over all these, because most of them, uh, for example, yeah, mind drop. Uh, yeah, it does really doesn't work really good. Overall, uh, we don't really need this one for a PV nerve rocking. Mm, also, fade, uh, ah, this is also not really necessary for uh, PV. It's more for the PVP, I think. And this one as well. So yeah, these two are like I think it's the best pick for uh, fights, um, mostly in CC. Uh, moments and also casually uh, leveling if you actually get to that level um, I'm sure you will get a um, chance to mm, get away from the death or something like this okay going to heroics assassin's shelter this one is like mm, the most most loved skill by uh, assassins and if I am right in the next patch 4.0, this skill will be given to sorcerers as well. Wow. Well, I'm not going to say anything about it because, well, mm, I don't really, I'm not really happy with it. But still, uh, let's go back to the topic. Um, this one, this one is important. Every time you put, uh, you put your face walk which is this one, um, gives your healers ad additional 5% um, of healing. You might think it's not much, but to be honest, it's a huge number and it, uh, it can save your ass anytime. So it's better to have it um, with you all the time. Also, um, it's not like 5% done, but also received. So most of the time when the face walk is in the middle of tank and uh, healer, it can benefit from everyone. So 3% for me and 5% for a healer, which makes it like 8% of um, better healing. Maybe this is a bad math thing, but still it really makes a difference. Um, another thing, Shroud of Madness. Activating Force Cloak grants 2 seconds of Force Shroud. Um, again, this one is heavily CC dependent. I use it mostly because of CCs going on around. Like, if I'm really out of everything, I have nothing to use and I still am CC'd and my tank is... Uh, the second tank is dead or the second tank is off tank and he are going to die soon I will just use uh, my um, force cloak, get force shroud, get safe and then I can do my job as always uh, you can pick um, dark stability also so with deflections on you're immune to stun, sleep, lift and incapacitating effects Jesus. Mm, this is also useful. I don't use it that much, I rather go with this one, but for sure I just wanted to make a point about this one. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, it's PvP. Also PvP. 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 Because for bosses it won't work, so it's really not so important. Let me change that actually. This. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this one, maybe. <laughs> okay. So let it be. Okay. Uh, we have talents. Now let's go on the rotation. 
So, mm, Assassin's Rotation is really, really simple. Um, it, it might be boring, because it's not so uh, situational. Yeah, I think I said it right. Mm, it just you, you go straight with the same rotation. The only change will come with the AoE, because you will use um, almost the same rotation, but you will be using a lacerate as well. Um, first of all, you won't be needing this force lightning. It's useless. It's really useless. It's on uh, 10 meters range, while other skills are on um, the same range. But you still have to get close because this one, uh, for example, has only four meters of range. So um, don't use it. Really, it's useless. I don't know why do I have it on my bar, but you know, I like it when it's all taken, so let it be there. Um, the main only thing to remember about um, the stacks. You will get um, stacks from... Uh, let me show you the name because I forgot it. Mm, okay, Harness and Dragness. This one is really, really important uh, because once you get, um, once you get, how many stacks? Let me see. Okay, once you get three stacks, you will get activated the depredating vault. This is first. Um, this skill is the whenever main thing you in your rotation. So whenever you, you do like. Um, Ops or something. This will be your main thing. Don't use it when it's not um, procked, because it's useless. It has huge cast time, so it's like three seconds. It's too much, mm, so it's not worth it. Like I would be here and, <laughs> and it's not worth it because you will lose your damage and threat generated. So um, how do we start? Ah get up. Okay, first thing, um, Dark Wards. Uh, these guys are very helpful because it has your shield, um, uh, it has your shield, like chance for a shield is 50% more for 20 seconds, which is really good. Um, horse pull. Um, sometimes I'll start with it, and sometimes I save it for a better moment. For example, if I know that this boss will spawn a lot of adds that I will have to tank, I will keep it for spool because it has like 45 seconds cooldown, which is kind of huge, so I rather keep it for a better moment. Um, wither. This one is really important because uh, it's AoE threat and it's one of the biggest threats. Um, shock. It's the single target, but it comes with the threat, uh, with the damage spikiness, so it's really important in your rotation. This one assassinate only when it's procs. Uh, never use it like um, use it when it procs, and when you get to less than thirty percent, use it as well. But the main thing is to proc every skill that is procable. Ah, this, this might be difficult. Discharge, also very important. AoE, um, you should also also remember to put it on. This one will proc as well, so don't try to get behind the boss because it won't happen. You are a tank, you will always face him, you won't get behind him. So you will have to make it um, proc. That's not much of a problem. Mm, the rotation will just give you mold for free. Okay, so this guys, well, this is CC, this is like um, knockdown, mm, what else, lack rate for AoE, yeah. uh, slow, it's useful, but not, not, not that much, trash, trash is very important because it's your filler, so whenever you're on cooldowns use trash and it will proc, like for example, my lack rate proc'd Maul. But it will do the same with the trash. Mm, mind control. Yes, this is really important. 
And remember guys, please remember, this is like the most important thing ever. If you are not a main tank and you are off tanking and helping someone, never ever taunt them if it's not necessary. Because yeah, you might think, yeah, I will have to keep the aggro on myself. Why can I, taunt will give me so much threat. That's not true. Because um, mind control won't give you any threat. The only thing that it does is taunt the mob to you. And you will have to build your threat once again. So it won't give you any threat. Any... Mm, maybe I'm wrong because yes, it might give you some threat. But it's not made for holding threat. It's made for taking over the threat. Mm. Mass mind control is for AoE, if you want to get everyone in the group, make sure to use it, but remember, if you are close to a boss, you will get wrecked, uh, because boss will also, um, also come. Um, mind trap, I use it mostly when I'm stealth, so yeah, I can just um, mind trap um, the target, for example, and I have um, this called soft CC. It's not uh, lasting too long, and it's um, it's the same as, for example, uh, Wetterlind. But it's it's called the soft CC because you can use it at stealth, and the group won't attack you. But when you use Wetterlind, everyone get aggroed and come to you. So that's the main difference. Um, these guys, um, they are really important. Recklessness. Always try to use recklessness before um, depredating vaults. It will give you a huge boost to threat, to damage and spikiness. Mm, also, um, you will get uh, critical hits, which is like, yay, this is the best. And this gives um, critical hits includes in um, includes in a uh, spikiness. Mm. Okay, so let's start with the main rotation. Let me use the clicks because it will get easier. So we start with Dark Ward, then we go with the Wither, then we go with the Trash, then go with this one, Trash again, come on, okay. Shock propped, so we use it. And again, Mole, this one. And now we use this with this one. Again, you will have to use a pro priority system, which is not like you will have to use every single skill um, in the same exact uh, place. So I use it mostly when it's pro proxying. So this one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6 skills will be the most used ones for you. So let me give you the full rotation. I don't know why, why my discharge is not proking, but I will use it anyway. When you lose your um, force, you can always use the uh, standard attack to quickly get uh, some some points in force. That's the main um, main rotation for a single target. Now we'll come to, uh, to um, AOE. So, for example, we'll do this same exactly the same thing. We'll have to use discharge and we'll, uh, luck rate. Yeah, we'll just go with luck rate. This one. This one. 
Discharge again. We'll pick this guy. Not great. Again. Remember about the lacerate. It's hard to show it on dummies because, well, we are not in ops um, place. But that would be all for um, for a rotation. What else? Uh, gearing. Mm. This will be tricky because gearing eh, as an assassin will give you some headaches because it's really money consuming. The real power of assassin's tanking comes with your um, with your uh, full bonus set. So right now I don't have any bonuses. I just have 192 mixed with 186 for mitigation, some 198, um, some arguments, so I can get my um, my. Uh, how it's called Perfect stats. Yes, that's perfect stats. So my my goal is to get as much absorption rating and Shield chance as it's possible because my defense change is right now at the well. It's good now It can stay like this um, So um, you will have to stack shield rating and absorption um, But forget about defense rating it's not your main stat. Your main st stat to grow its um, absorption rating. It's really important. Also, endurance is really important because um, more health for assassin is better because it can handle a lot more. Um, juggernauts have the other thing that they don't need that much of a health. They can just um, get stuck on armor and they will do fine. So that's the main difference between Juggernaut gameplay and the Assassin's gameplay. Um, for the relics, I use reactive warding for um, absorption and for the shield. Mm, this one is good. Relics does not matter that much, but it's also it almost help you. In, I don't know, it's useful but it's not necessary. So if you don't have money, just try to, f um, I don't know, spend it on something else and do not focus getting relics. Um, another relic is a Redoubt. Yes, I have defense rating. Yes, you see correctly. Why do I pick defense rating instead of um, absorption or anything else? Well, mm, remember when I told you about the Juggernaut? I think yes. So, mm, armor rating gives you more sur sur survivability. Ah. And that's why I picked my 800 defense rating for 6 seconds. So if I ha get a heavy damage and this uh, relic will proc, I will most likely survive it rather than die because of a lack of my gear, for example. So it's very useful uh, both for Juggernauts and even Assassins. So I really like to use it and I'm really happy with it because I'm not dying like a shit. Um, and it's good for everyone. Um, and I think... I don't know really else what to explain to everyone. Because it's... Uh, difficult thing to explain uh, but if you guys have any questions any doubts just tell me and I will remake it or make it better because right now I'm just uh, really very really unexperienced with the guides so this is all I could like explain in the, the smallest uh, like this shortest way because I didn't want to get like long and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions please do ask them in game, in comment section, on forum, wherever you want and I will try to answer any of it. So also um, in the end I, I wanted to tell you about some tips. First of all 
don't just uh, follow my rotation like it's like you are no minded and you will do everything I ask but please read all the skills I won't do it right now because Jesus Christ if I would like it took like another 20 minutes but try to read them and try to understand how each of them work especially recklessness um, deflection uh, overcharge saber and stuff like this those uh, skills are really important and you should know what they will do um, also you will have to know where and when to use it exactly because some of them are useless in some situations and one of them are really mandatory so yeah that will be my last tip I hope you guys enjoyed again and I hope to see you guys soon so cheers